Okay guys, well, here's the fruit of my labors for 
last few days, maybe a week off and on. But uh, this was the first one. You saw this already. Uh, pretty good. The shape's good. It's a little bit long, and these are a little bit much, but that's good. Second one. Okay, so I really wasn't even, really wasn't uh, happy with like half of these as I went. I got uh, better at the lathe. I got used to what the tool was doing. And I realized like on this one, the handle is way too long. It's okay if you use it like this for hammering, but um, so I needed to go shorter. But this is good practice to uh, figure this out. You know, like this handle, it's like uh, too long. And then I was um, also messing with the shape. Now this one turned out pretty good. Um, I think it's about four and a half inches from this. Well, I can get a tape measure. This one, it measures, let's say, about four inches from this point to here. And then I've got these extensions on here with copper and that's for hammering. And then I fitted all these and real close and hammered them home. So, but this one turned out real good. And then the next one, I think this one also ended up too long. Um, it's four and three quarter and it'll still work fine and everything. Um, but it's just too long. So that's the kind of thing, you know, you just learn as you go. I had this, uh, made this kind of like, um, like some guys make those little small brass hammers, like a plain set. This thing had a rod and a nut on it. So I made a handle for this. And then, and then, uh, these other ones are all maple and they've gotten quite a bit better. This is a pretty good, pretty good handle. Now this is a smaller chisel, but this is, um, four inches again from this the point to here and then sometimes I had this taller and you know it was a little bit much so I knocked it down and rounded it off so this this is real close this one is real good so you know maybe this measurement in here somewhere around here for my hand is about four inches and some of the older ones were much shorter than that and then you could if you didn't have this you could go with wood a little longer on the back but it's basically from from the round to where your thumb goes so that's just uh stuff i was figuring out and then i got this this one i went a little bigger bigger chisel but similar similar um design and also you saw me uh i used some rust remover rust dissolver rust-oleum rust Dissolver and it kind of gave it this matte finish. It's almost like if you ever heard of um, navel jelly de rusting, it's kind of like that. And it, it seemed to etch the metal a little bit. But uh, and then this was the last one, and uh, this one had a short thing. I had to hone in on this. This one, I have some old handles that would work for these. Um, this one is the one that was on here, it's just a little bit awkward. No, still usable, but anyway, this is this is pretty good. This has got it like more of a ball end, and then it's still got that thumb, that thumb area. So this measures uh, similar, just right around four inches. And then I uh, used a little epoxy on some of them, and some of them are just pressure. Like this one, I just hammered home, and it's in there. It's not going to come out, so. So anyway, that's the that's what I did. I had a couple of you know mistakes. This one is way too thin. Plus, I started with a, um, an old handle on this one. So and then this one uh, was also just awkward and thin, too thin. I had this one uh, on here. See how short this this tang was. This part. But anyway, that's what I ended up with. And now I thought the white oak kind of 
it's fine, but I'm I'm just gonna basically black this out with ebony stain. And uh, I tried this on my last plane restoration too, to also put it on the metal. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but it's oil and it's somewhat protective and you could always take it back off. So not too worried about it, but we'll see what it does. This is just straight, like, it's supposed to be black. It's ebony stain, but it's really like a dark brown. So anyway, I'm going to stain these up, and that's what I got. I still have to make a, a handle for this and fire the the metal. But that also, one good thing about this is with through all this learning and trial and error, now, you know, um, chances are I'm going to need uh, handles in the future, and now I could make one pretty quickly, relatively quickly and accurately. So that's good moving forward to have, you know, cause lots of tools have handles and, and stuff. So anyway, let's see what, let's see what this looks like with uh, black stain on it. This had linseed oil on it. So hopefully it, um, it works. Let's see. I'll put this back. This stuff will splatter all over the place. So be careful. Normally, I like to use a brush. Uh, because it's just easy. But I'll use a rag this time. So this is uh, Sherwood, Sherwin Williams... Um, it's a uh, lacquer based stain, so it, it's penetrating stain. So you can basically put it on and wipe it off right away. Uh, but I'll leave it on there for a little while and then see what it looks like. Get a little sneak peek. So it had Lindsay, it had the boiled linseed oil on there before but that's that'll be all right I'm sure it'll look good can't go wrong with the, just blacking it out so that's one I didn't want to sand these detail them out again so I'm just this kind of makes the handle just kind of blend in too so concentrate on the iron this might seem crazy to do this but I tried it before on the plane soaks in and uh, you know gets rid of that matte look and kind of puts some oily stuff back into the metal so it should be fine plus it's probably protective I'm guessing I'll take that off right away though I won't let it sit too long leave it on the wood longer So get the rest of these, and the other the other one is maple. Uh, these are white maple. So that's so light, you know, the dark stain will look look nice and rich. You see all my mistakes here, <laughs> but that's hard maple. Hey, anyway, I'll run through these and. Uh, get some final shots and then like I said I got some more things to do but I need to um, move on to uh, some other things so see how it goes
Thank you.